The web client in Dynamics Nav 2017 is really nice to work with, particularly when you're working with list pages and want to start sorting and viewing your data in different kinds of ways. So here, I want to work with my customer's list, but I'm going to change my view and create a bit more space firstly. So if I double click on the tab for home on the ribbon, that will minimize that so it comes out of the way and creates a bit more space for me to work with. Same with the fact box on the right hand side, if I click the little arrow to collapse the fact box pane, I've got more space to work with. Now on this list page it comes with three views as standard, I mean the brick or small tile view at the moment, so I'm now going to change the list view so I can begin to start sorting the data that I'm looking at. Now to sort this page is really easy, for example I wanted to sort all of my records by country region code, I can simply from, choose from the menu for that column and choose ascending. So now all my records are sorted by country region code from A through to Z. The reverse is easy to do, simply click the menu, choose descending and now I've got a descending sort. So I can see which column I'm currently sorting by with the arrow that's indicating which column has a sort applied and the direction of the arrow down for a descending sort and upwards pointing arrow for an ascending sort. I can simply click the column as a shortcut to reverse the direction of the sort. If I click a different column it will transfer the sort and apply it to that column. So I don't have to actually choose to drop down and go to the menu. Simply clicking a column title as a shortcut will apply that ascending sort for me without any need to open up the actual drop down menu. So if I want to apply a sort by name click the name of the column and the sort is applied. Once I've got my information sorted, so for example I've got all my records sorted alphabetically by country region code, I can then go through and start finding the records I wish to work with. At that point I might want to expand the fact box pane so I can see the snapshot information for that record and it will update as I choose different records. If I want to go further, I could then apply a filter to perhaps just see particular records, which is demonstrated in another video in this series.